So I was from a single parent family and myself and my younger sister by four years. So I had to be very independent if I wanted to get around, um, always w walking to school from an early age. Um, and then when I was old enough, um, I, got a, I got a bike and would get around. It was my means of getting around. And I was quite often very late for school and places that I was supposed to be. So always really going at full pelt as fast as I could, which I think for me was great in keeping me active and healthy, but also really set me up. But when I fell into sport at the age of 17 and got tested and my talent was spotted and I think had I not been going around on a bike for most of my journeys I wouldn't have de developed that preparation, um, that yeah. preparation uh, for, for me falling into elite sport. I think uh, being an athlete obviously I was very very active and, and very fit but after retiring uh, it's, been, it's been really difficult to maintain that and I'm well aware since being a student um, studying health and fitness and um, knowing that an acti active lifestyle as a, as a nation is really declining and mm -hmm. I understand the importance behind that um, but also from the perspective of uh, becoming employed and then how I have to use my car to go to work and I can't fit in activities and it's it's really struggling so I would love to be able to walk or ride to, ride to work but to keep me fit but it doesn't really happen. Um, so what do you do then? <laughs> So, um, I, d I find now that working full time, it is really difficult to, to fit it in. And then also having started a family, that's, that's the worst thing because all your time is just taken up by the kids and by working and all the household stuff that has to be done. And it becomes a real chore to go to the gym and, and, and do something. So, I really struggled. I think if I did have a job where I was able to, to walk or to cycle, that would be brilliant because that would really tick a box. Um, but then definitely with the, with the kids, um, I've got a, a three-year-old and a, a seven-month-old. I know that it's really crucial. That I need to think about them, um, setting a, a good, a good routine for them, a good example. Yeah. And it's really important for me that when I look at them growing up and and putting them into schools, one of the key things that I really want to do is make sure that they're walking to school and um, and, and being active as well. But doing it in a sense that it's not something that they really have to think about. And I think for people who are busy in their lifestyles and struggling to, to fit in work and fit in looking after their families, activity needs to be something that isn't a chore. Yeah. It needs to be something that you just do as a habit or a means to getting somewhere. So walking and cycling um, really is probably one of the, the crucial means really for, for lifting the general public's health and fitness and, so and well-being. you do it, they see you doing it and it, it, it's normal for them, yeah? Yeah, absolutely, but also, um, facilitating that opportunity for them to do it so you know if I was to think about putting them in a school that meant I had to take them in the car every day or they had to be dropped off mm -hmm. um, or maybe had to get the bus then I'm not facilitating that opportunity for it to become routine and habit and likewise I think when you think about businesses and um, employers giving them giving their employees the opportunity to be able to take alternative transport so perhaps getting on their bike and then facilitating the means for them to have safe storage for their bike or to maybe you know, take showers or, or prepare and, and be in that kind of environment where it's easy for them to do that and make those choices. So they're still very young, but I mean, does your oldest one understand that her mum's this fantastic thing at the end? He does. My, uh, my eldest son does have a, a little bit of an idea, but at the moment, and this is quite sad because it's my husband who is always the one on the bike because his job and where he works means that he can get on a bike to commute to work <laughs> and so my little one always sees him as being the, being the person on, um, on the bike and so when he sees pictures of me at the Olympics he goes dada and uh, <laughs> yeah it's actually me so that's quite sad and I know that's something that I need to turn around to see him get it see to have him see me getting on a bike and, nice. and realizing that's actually me and not his father. Good